time now for business. Honey producers in Ghana will soon get a policy to regulate the operations of the business and its exports. This was disclosed by Chief Executive of the Chamber of Agribusiness, Anthony Morrison. According to him, implementing the National Honey Production and Investment Policy will enable the country to achieve a trillion dollar sector in 2030, projected by the World Bank. Mr. Morrison spoke to Jory Business after the launch of the Make Ghana's Honey Fit for Export project. Chief Executive of the Chamber of Agribusiness, Anthony Morrison, has indicated that for Ghana's honey industry to be competitive on the global market, there is a need for the implementation of a policy. According to him, discussions are ongoing to implement the National Honey Production and Investment Policy to give Ghana a comparative advantage on the international market. It's very important that we are starting with this for now. Uh, there are other programs that the Chamber of Agribusiness and its partners in Germany are initiating uh, to harmonize uh, the current activities. Uh, also to engage the Ministry of Food and Agriculture to design uh, a, a national honey production. And, uh, we need to have an industry that uh, our uh, beekeepers, just as it was said in the World Bank report, that uh, if African farmers are able to uptake high skills and also adopt technology, they would be able to attain a trillion dollar by 2030, which is eight years more to go. So we believe that uh, the honey industry serves that purpose. The CSIR Food Research Institute launched the Make Ghana's Honey Fit for Export project. Project coordinator Dr. Karaj Besa Adanu revealed that the project is to determine the kinds of honey produced in the country and to give guide in the formulation of standards for the sector. We wanted now to scale the, the analysis, not only to one region, but across the country, so that as scientists we can be able to define the honey that we have, so we can profile them and know what we have. Then our um, formulation of standards can fit be in the right place, then we can be able to um, package our honey very well so that you, for instance, who is skeptical about buying honey, all your doubt will be cleared. Then also we can be able to enter premium markets like the EU. Chairman of the Beekeepers Association, Patrick Ado Newman, expressed his excitement for the launch of the project. He believes the project will upskill honey production in Ghana. And this particular project that has been launched is going to help our industry to grow. Some of us have been in the industry for the past 30, 40 years. And we realize the industry is still where it is. But with this project being launched, we are now going to be able to identify the type of honey we produce. And with this project, we'll be able to test and know the type of honey we are producing for the market. Apart from that, uh, we are not able to export. We are not able to produce to even feed the local market. Come in this project, because of the genuineness of the honey we produce, and then the importance and the medicinal value that we note, the people out there, are going to make sure that they take and chase our honey. 